Uh, Governor Snyder established the Michigan Office of New Americas in 2014 and uh, declared June as Immigrant Heritage Month this year. Uh, what would you do to attract more people to Michigan given that we might lose a congressional uh, seat given the population decline? Mm -hmm. And would refugees be a part of that plan? Well, first of all, let me start by saying that we all were immigrants. We're now Americans. So um, each one in this room your heritage is that of an immigrant, but you're no longer an immigrant, you're an American. And so um, I, I'm a strong proponent for immigration uh, and for refugees. I think that they need to be strongly vetted. We need to know that they're not coming to harm us. Um, they need to come in legally. But I think it's a great avenue to, to increase the population and entrepreneurship. If you look at entrepreneurship and jobs, a high percentage of that comes from immigrants and refugees, uh, very industrious peoples from all over the world. And so we should foster that. We should encourage that. Uh, they can become active citizens of Michigan and Americans. We, of course, want them to, to learn our history and our language and assimilate into our culture. So that's all part of it. But I, I think it, it, it's important and it needs to be done. Do you believe that refugees are properly vetted currently? Uh, my understanding is yes. Um, that that vetting process sometimes takes is taking two years, and uh, so that vetting process is extensive, and uh, it's it's deep, and uh, so I believe the answer to that question is yes. Uh, should it be stronger? I think it's probably strong enough. The hard part is refugees come without paperwork. You don't know who they are, where they're from, really. And uh, so the process is difficult. Okay. Would you support the EB-5 visa program to attract entrepreneurs into the state? And give I, them I, would, I, would, I would support that, yes. Um, moving forward a little bit on immigration um, concerns and issues, the 2020 census and the citizenship question that's proposed for it, how do you see that impacting Michigan? From what perspective? From uh, the, the the debate has been over people not wanting to answer the census at, uh, census at all because that information is on there, or what the government would do with that information once they get it. Is that a fair is that a fair characterization of the census and how people are viewing it? And does the state have a role? Uh, it kind of speaks to the state's role in immigration issues and the conversation that's ongoing. You know, I I think there's a group of people that are suspicious when it comes to what w they would consider large intrusive government and I would support small limited government and so if your concerns are you know what are they going to do with this information this is my private personal information then it becomes difficult to do a census and so maybe it might require someone walking around and looking and counting and that sort of thing. 